Hello everyone, Max Roberts here for Go Left Gaming, and this is part 6 of our Shovel Knight Let's Play. We are on to the Lost City, the lair of the Mole Knight. This one's pretty classy. This is pretty good. Reminds me a little bit, atmosphere-wise, of um, one little game, one little indie title, called Spelunky. Which, couldn't quite get into, like some people do. Apparently Spelunky is deep, man. But I just am not that good at it. Um, let's drop down here, we'll bust out the fishing rod, and go fishing. I think it's a fish, I don't think it's a triple. Nope, it's a triple. Let's, yeah, there we go, don't need to worry about that. Boom, treasure, treasure, treasure. Now, these little fire ones are in fact the green ones when lava drops on them. So you have to watch out for that. This guy is pretty easy to take care of. You just have to get behind him. He needs a one hit. Not a big deal. Just gotta time these lava drops. That one doesn't drop. Always pay attention to your environment. to see things that you can explode like that. Four hits for that guy. The question is, how much do I like treasure? And I like treasure very much. I also like not having to fight him. Psh, totally okay with this. This is cool, I freaked out the first time because I thought I was going to die. And then you just you can bounce your way to victory, but only on the green. If you land on him, you're safe. Um, I don't know actually why I would fight him. But he doesn't give me anything extra. Oh, uh, now I would have gone up there. There's still kind of a chance for me to go up there. Nah. There is a secret right here. Or maybe I can go up there. Does he keep walking? Hmm. I don't want to risk that jump. Yeah, no way. You couldn't make that jump. You'd have to... You can make the jump back. Oh, wow. I want him to do that whole... Oh, never mind. He doesn't do it one more time. I have to wait for him to thrust out. There we go. What was that? Four hits? Not bad. These mid-level bosses are pretty sweet. I like that they're in here each time. They add a flair to each level. Which is an aspect of those older games. Like, I've never played them, but Mega Man, you know, each level was based after a Robot Master. It wasn't, you know, here's a level and here's a Robot Master that doesn't fit. It was Metal Man had a Metal Man stage, and so on, and things like that. That's special. You know, they, they, games don't like that anymore. And I like that. Oh. Now this is tricky right here. Because there's collectibles to be had. What you have to do is not explode those if you jump up here. And then you have to platform across those guys. Lava. Wait for them to jump again. Score. You have to have faith in your platform and skills there. Music sheet. Nice. The sprite animation in this game is so cool. Yeah! You would be so much faster in this game too, because there's like a fee for doing it in an hour and 50 minutes. You would be so much faster if you didn't go after treasure. Like, treasure is just unnecessary. Let's go. See, I could have already dropped down and not gone after that. Which ah, makes you think, like, I could be so much better at this game if I didn't risk it all for the gold. That's a little sh Again, you think you're gonna die. It's like, ah, they have to endure watching me die all the time. Chester! 
our favorite field merchant. Dust Knuckles. You need them. Buy them always. Um, these things are awesome. I'm gonna use them right now, actually. As long as there are blocks there, you can punch your way. Treasure. These things are some of the best. And they take only two of your item. I keep forgetting you can't down press the fire. They only take two of your item magic, so... They're good at one to have, like, equipped freely, in case you're prone to make mistakes. Like I am with these up buttons. Uh, I like that. That's smart. It teaches you how to use the item without telling you, which is perfect game design. I don't want to be told how to do it. I'm going to be respected for how smart I am as a person and a player. And they know that I'm playing game, and they use elemental, oh gosh, elemental clues to help me learn their game. It's kind of like this mutual agreement. You don't tell me what to do, and I'll play your game, because I want to solve the mysteries. And it's smart level design to like have a section there to show you how to use the new item that they've just sold you. An interesting element here. Changes lava. Let's rid of that stuff. And the only reason it drops down like that is because your timing will They're nice like that. Now if I want that ruby, it drop down like that. And then it's hot. That's one reason why Shovel Knight is just such a good game. Oh gosh. Saw that coming. It's like, as I'm falling, it's fading. What I should have done is jumped down and then jumped up on the platform. Which you'll see here in a second, when I show you how to really do it. I'm a little curious why there's green lava. Um, I don't know what green lava even is. Like, what is this thing that I'm bouncing off of? Does it stick to my... You have to shoot it on the platform so if you ride, and then you bounce. No! Oh my gosh, I got back there. I was like, yeah, I can make that jump. No, I can't. Again, risking it for treasure. Nope, not gonna risk it. Can't figure out how to get back there. I can't make it over here, though. Oh, there's an easy cheat. I don't want to do that. That. Cheat. Get it as it falls. That was awful time. That worked. You just get a rush in those sections. It's like, am I gonna make it? Secret? Yeah. Then watch him fall to his death. It's a little evil. But in a good way. I'm on top of your sprite, you're on top of mine, and I'll never get those treasures up. I think that happened when I played the first time, too. Break them! Uh, knuckles. Dust Knuckles. That's what they're called. Look at his little foot waggle as he digs for treasure. Look at all that go. Oh, one. one extra. That's okay. Safe and sorry is uh, my mom. See how it's a red ruby now? I don't understand. You have to step on him to get him to move. And then you wait. Ever so patiently wait for the round. No. 
look at the environment. Oh, he's free. They've broken out. I didn't want to risk it. Do you see that? I was going for that ruby, and then that thing got in the way. I think you can blow something down. I thought that was a lava block the first time, because it matches the sprites perfectly. You're out of your depth, Spelunker. Spelunky. <laughs> Are you lost? These ruins belong to the ages, Mole Knight. They're mine now! Mine? Because he's a mine? Never mind. But more importantly, is that your digging implement. Ha 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 ha. Mm ha 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 ha. I'm astonished you made it to be down with that rusty trinket. Oh, it's on now, Mole Knight. He kind of reminds me of a fat guy. Like, a fat boss. Oh, you know who? Perfect fat boss. Fat Man from Metal Gear Solid 2. He was just a big, he was a big guy. You have to look and find the one with his helmet. Ah, oh, I knew that was happening too. Dodges fire, lava falls. Oh gosh, I only have one, one health left. Did I? You know what I didn't do? Get the health before the fight. Oh, I'm so stupid. Alright, look for him again. Gosh. Well, I didn't realize how stupid I was before this. There it is. Should have gone inside. Whoops. Sorry about that. You're probably watching like, why didn't you eat the food? Why did he not eat food? Still don't get why there's green lava. You would almost think like the elements from the level would be used in the boss battle, but I guess that's more a Zelda thing. All right, let's find him. Ah, oh, that's what happens if you don't find him. A bunch of fire shoots out. I jump too soon. Do you use your item? At least in this boss battle, you do. Which is kind of nice. You probably actually can use your item in all the boss battles, but I didn't think of that. But... Oh. There we go. Where is he? He's got the six things left. Go! Death and rainbow screens! I kinda like this one. <laughs> the, his moles carry him away. You don't really see a death animation for most of the nights of the Order of No Quarter. But that is it. That's night number five. End of. It's part six of my Shovel Knight Let's Play. Let's uh, play this little mini game they do after each wave of nights. That's a meal ticket in that chest, and you have to catch Shield Knight she falls because I'm haunted by this dream. Every night. This is a good way to collect a lot of money, because um, enemies show up and they drop outrageous amounts of money. Just outrageous. Let's just kill him. No! Oh gosh, I don't know what happens if you miss her. Nothing? Maybe I just... it's a nightmare? Guess it counts as a nightmare. I was too greedy. Sorry, Shovel Knight. Shield Knight. Let's get my meal ticket. Make sure you check out the rest of the Go Left Gaming Shovel Knight Let's Play. 
We're on to <sighs> Propeller Knight, Shovel Knight, and Tinker Knight. I don't know who's next specifically, but make sure you tune in for all of them. Thanks for watching, guys, and always remember to go left.